Uh, the kid was playing G League or, you know, they used to call it D League. Now it's G League. And that, what he's turned into a, he's turned into an all-star caliber guard. Mm. Uh, he got D'Angelo Russell from, from Lakers. So the Nets, as far as I'm concerned, have a backcourt for the future. They, when they so like look at it this way, last last year, two years ago, when they signed Jeremy Lin, and he was supposed to be some sort of franchise savior, this is how far the Nets have come. Now they have a legitimate backcourt. Okafor I should be able to play center because I mean, he's him, been so. hurt. He's right. been hurt both seasons, right. uh, and and he's done for this season. And basically, I think his Nets career is pretty much over. But they have a good number of guys on this team who, unless you're a really hardcore basketball fan, you probably don't know a lot of names on the Nets roster, but it's a team that hustles. It's a team of guys who, who, like I said, maybe kind of come off the scrap heap and, and play like they have something to prove. And the record might not be outstanding, but for where, like I said, where this team was last year, the, the improvement that they've shown has been tremendous. Now, that being said, as far as trades go, I haven't heard anything specific in terms of the Nets and what might happen. Right. But that, again, is, is kind of the beauty of Sean Marks is I have no doubt he's talking to every team in the league. And if somebody is looking to give up a player who, who has been good before, kind of like Okafor, the Sixers wanted to get rid of him. They didn't, they didn't like how he developed. They wanted to, to – and they went, basically sold him for $0.10 cents on the right. dollar. Right. So fine. Hey, the Nets – it's it's a, it's one of those low low risk high reward kind of moves where here's a guy who was a big time player let's see if we can turn him back into that player, so I could see Marks doing something like that at the trade deadline. We'll see what what happens. We're take a, we're going to take a break here on from the press box. Thank you, uh, John from Freeport. Uh, we're going to talk Yankees and Mets and a couple other things and the Islanders. When we get back, five one six five seven two seven four four zero. If you have a uh, comment or question. Answer me! Who taught you to listen to Radio Rumble at 12 p.m. on Saturday afternoons? You, all right? I learned it by watching you. I learned it by watching you. you. I'd buy that for a dollar. The Radio Rumble has it all. Humanity will suffer with me. Movie reviews. No kind of sanity. You're wrong. Sports talk. Hi, sports fans. I'm Doug Prishpreed. Awesome music. Excellent! So listen, Saturday afternoons at 12 p.m. for The Radio Rumble on The Voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I learned it by watching you. Come on, everybody. Let's sing along with Bruce. Join me, Kim Tracy, for the music of Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band on Thunder Road, Sundays at 1 p.m. on the voice of Nassau Community College 90.3 WHPC and on the iHeartRadio app. Brother, are you aware of the show My Hometown here at WHPC? Absolutely. It's with Jim Green, no? Yeah, every Thursday it airs at 4 p.m. The program expo- explores clubs, organizations, businesses, and issues in towns across Nassau and Suffolk counties. Weekly interviews with local guests to serve and shed light on Long Island, making a difference. Produced by Jim Green, hosted by Bill Horan and the student staff of WHPC, that's my hometown, every Thursday at 4 p.m. right here on WHPC. Let's quickly talk about the Islanders' brother, they are in seventh place. By the way, this is from the press box. I'm Rob Leonard. He's award-winning sports writer and stable genius Tim Leonard. Thank you. Um, the Islanders are in seventh place in the Metropolitan Division. They are four points out of second place. That is how tight this division is. Crazy division. It is a crazy division. The Technically, the Islanders, if their playoffs were to happen today, they would not make the playoffs. That's how crazy it is. That's how crazy it is, even though they're four games over 500. So... That says a lot about what's going on in this division and in the conference itself. Um, what's the other one? And, and I guess that's it. I mean, the Central Division's pretty close, but not as close as the Metropolitan. Uh, the Capitals are pl- still playing well. The Islanders, you know, uh, you know, are playing well. But kind of. Kind of, yeah. They beat up on uh, on Chicago on Saturday, uh, seven to three, and you know. 
They can score. They can score. They just need to play defense. They, 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 the, the, the goalie position needs some work, and then they need a, a kind of a team wide focus on defense. If uh, Garth Snow would only listen, you know. And, you know Garth, be, buddy, tune in. Yeah, and, and also maybe he'd get a goalie. <laughs> I don't know. He's he should a, know. He, he was should know. a goalie. He, he, he was should a know. Goalie. The position is important. He, you know, hiding in wherever the, the offices are for now for the Islanders. I don't know where they are now. They used to be in Plainview. Um, I don't know. Probably in Brooklyn. No, I don't know. Uh, you know, they're, they're, the ice is over here at the at the uh, Eisenhower Park. That's right. where they practice. I don't know. And I don't know where the team offices are. I, I thought I they know. moved them to Brooklyn, but who knows? I don't know either. They might have already moved them back. Somewhere. Anyway. Uh, uh, the Mets. Uh, why, why do they invite Tim Tebow to spring training? Why do they? Why do they like you know, the you know circus? Because they want. Because they want to aggravate the writers. No. That's the only reason I can think of. You know why? Why is that? You know he's not going to join this team. He, Christy, Christy Acker is not happy. I can he, tell you. Uh, he yeah. is he a baseball player? I guess he is. I mean, he's playing. He's an athlete. Only, he's he's an, an athlete. athlete. He's not a baseball player. He's not. This is like you know putting you or me on. You know, well, you know, we've run into well, no, I mean, at least he can play. I mean, he 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 batted something like two twenty six with 226. about eight home runs. He had eight home runs, fifty two RBIs last year. That's not bad. Yeah, but he, but you know, he can't. I don't. Know. It's a but. It's there's always a but with Tebow in baseball because he's not really a baseball player. So no. unless unless he he put in a lot of work in the off season, he he didn't want to give up his his uh, his, his commentating job for ESPN. So at, at what point is he going to say? You know, either either I'm all in or this right, is this right. is just a hobby. As at Deion least, at least when Michael ja- Michael Jackson, when Michael Jordan did it, he was there and he was there for a full season. I think the second season. Don't, that- don't get me involved in conspiracy theories again. Okay, okay. Either way, I'm not going there. Okay, I didn't say. Um, anyway, uh, the Yankees. Uh, what's going on with wait, the wait, Yankees? No, brother? More Mets, more Mets. What? Brother. What? Well, they they introduced Adrian oh, Gonzalez this week who cares? and David Wright, brother. What? David Wright may have come to the realization that his baseball career is over. He did not say it like he that. Did, well, what did he, he say? Did, he, he said that I, I'm i still going to try and, and maybe I'll be playing first base or, you know. He, he's done. He could play the, the first. Sooner, the sooner he comes to that realization. He could better. play first. He can't he play can't third. Play first. You know, defense is the least of his problems. You know why? Because the torque when you swing a baseball bat. I know. It's, it's In your back. I know. I know. The field doesn't matter. Uh, it does. It doesn't. Well, but the to- it, it's all about it's all about the torque when you swing a bat and how your body twists. That is what's going to destroy what's left of his back. Right. Now, well, I agree. We we know what happened to Don Mattingly and what happened there. So and and Lenny Dykstra as well. Yeah. So anyway, um, quickly we let's see. We got five minutes left before yeah. Big Ed and Good Gold. Pretty good. Uh, let's talk soccer, brother. You know, is is actually is the Los Angeles team actually going to be called LAFC? LAFC. What 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 are they stupid? La- they're going to be called the Lafka. Lafka. Hey, Lafkas. The Lafkas are playing today. Let's go see the Lafkas because they don't have a team name. You're you're just upset that they didn't consult you before. I. This is what's wrong with soccer. They're they're arrogant. And what would you have named the team? I would have named them. I don't know. The Los Angeles Express. Go back to the USFL or something. <laughs> you know something. Well, the mariachis, I don't know. Oh, my God. I don't know. You know, the, the rock and rollers. Let's not put you in charge of this. You know, but what's with the FC? It's this arrogance. It's, it's, it comes from the They already European... have the Los Angeles Galaxy. Yeah, okay. So they can't call them the Galaxy. Yeah, well, no, duh. So LAFC. Just like NYCFC. Now it's LA. So you, you have this, this, is, this is what it is. This is what they call the teams. What do you want me to tell you? They could have called him uh, L.A. Hotspur if they wanted to go for a good name, but, uh, you know, that's not what they decided. Uh, at least I would like that. What if they went with L.A. United? Okay. United is a, very much a soccer name. Well, so instead they went with L.A. City. Yeah, it's or stupid. LA, LA stupid. Fo- oh, actually, Stupido. they went L.A. Football Stupido. Club. That's why. Uh, you know? what, what do you want me to tell you, brother? I don't know. I'm just saying. You know? I even mean, they, Big they, Ed they, knows. They, they even though they, Big Ed knows, he's a Mets fan. <laughs> you know, he he doesn't root for the New York Metropolitan Club of New York City or whatever the official name well, is. Well, actually, he does. <laughs> he roots for the Mets. Well, that's and and what are the Mets? What's the Mets' official name? The New York like Baseball, the New New York National League team, I think it's called or whatever. Well, no, it's not. But but they're the Mets, baby. Well, anyway, here come the Mets in 2018. 
Anyway, we are uh, we are in. Actually, one one more thing before we get to soccer. Uh, Major League Baseball will be announcing the Wednesday. Hall of Fame inductions. We'll on, talk on about Wednesday. that next week. But there's but, a yeah. lot of big, people. Should be a big class. Big class, yeah. A lot, a lot of, a lot of uh, the voters are complaining now because the the uh, ten, the limit of ten names that you can nominate or you know send in on your ballot. Uh, they're complaining that it's that it's too low, and and some guys are going to get kicked off the ballot because they might not be worthy of a vote in their first year. Well, so we're going to wind up we're going to wind up kind of screwing over some guys. Well, that's like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you know. Well, it is what it is. It is. Anyway, um let's talk soccer quickly, brother. We got the uh, 3 minutes, 2 minutes actually, so. Uh well, let's see. Uh Tottenham yesterday disappointing 1-1 draw against Southampton. Uh we have uh, Manchester United, Liverpool and Arsenal are the next 3 games for Tottenham. Uh this this is a make or break part of the season. Every other top five team this weekend won, uh, so uh, this it's it's like I said it's 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 not a good time. Spurs are actually uh, Liverpool is playing today, so we don't know that they've won yet. But they were they're playing. Uh, I forget who they're playing. I think it's Stoke or something. They, they'll they'll win that game. It's ridiculous. Um, transfer window is is going on right now. Alexis Sanchez has all but uh, clinched his move from Arsenal to Manchester United. Uh, apparently, Manchester United is sending a, a player, Mkhitaryan, back to Arsenal. It's almost like, like a trade. Like, like they don't even know what to do in England when one team sends another te- another team a player, and they do what we call a trade here. They have no concept over there. It's all about money. If, if you if you're going to get a player, you pay how many millions of pounds for him. And I'm hearing that oh, it's going to be Mkhitaryan is going to go to Manchester United, Sanchez. Or uh, Mkhitaryan to Arsenal and Sanchez to to Manchester United. It's going to be a straight swap. And I'm like, yeah, right. It's a trade. I mean, yeah. but they, I mean, it, it's it's like mind blowing to them. Well, you know, Charles O'Finley was right when he would try to sell his players for money. Well, wow. anyway, continue, brother. We have a minute. Uh, MLS draft was this week. Uh, Joao Mutino Is that was how the you number say his name? Joao. 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 It's uh, Portuguese. We're we'll gonna call him Joe. Portuguese. Uh, was uh, number one overall pick in the Super Draft by uh, your second favorite team, LAFC. Lafka. Uh, Moutinho is a defender out of uh, the uh, out of uh, Akron, uh, and then LAFC also made a trade to acquire the number three pick from DC United, and with that pick selected the University of Pacific defender Tristan Blackman. So uh, LAFC should have a pretty strong defense because they they're obviously fo- focusing on defense coming into their uh, inaugural. Um, MLS season. Okay. So, so good for them. Congratulations. Good. The uh, NWSL also had their draft this week, but uh, I, I, I wasn't able to do enough research before that. Okay. Well, you know, so my yeah, bad. That's, that's my a bad good league. That, but nice NWSL. League, the NWSL. Wanted, wanted, wanted to mention them. Anyway. anyway, we're leaving right now. I'm Rob Leonard. He is award-winning sports writer and superb genius, Tim Leonard. Stable genius. Stable genius. I'm Come sorry. On, get it right. Uh, and we thank Steve from Oceanside <laughs> and John from Freeport for, for calling in with some comments and questions. I was going to say, get it right. <laughs> Next coming up on your radio, don't even touch your radio, Oldies Music is coming at you with the king of oldies, Big Ed. Big Ed. So keep it tuned here to Crank WHPC. It up. Crank it up. Take care. Well, I'll see you Friday with Beatles songs. I'll see you Sunday with Three for All. And I will see you Monday in 165 hours. 167 hours with Brother Tim doing more sports on From the Press Box. Bye-bye. The opinions expressed on air are not necessarily those of WHPC, its management, or Nassau Community College. Responsible opposing viewpoints will be considered by emailing them to whpc at ncc.edu or by mail to whpc One Education Drive, Garden City, New York, 11530. Thanks for listening to the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. We'll go over there. I think... Is that a bird? No, I think it's a plane. Yeah, you're right. It's pulling a banner. The bright... The brighter side. Hi, I'm Sarah Albertson, host of The Brighter Side, a show showing a brighter side of the world. Weekly guests who are sharing their stories in hopes of moving and inspiring others to do good in our world. The brighter it is, the better. I want to experience the brighter side. Listen Wednesday afternoons at 4 and Sunday nights at 11.30 on the voice of Nassau Community College 90.3 WHPC. Bring on the positivity!